we are going to see basic concept of Fourier series. So Fourier series is a way to represent a function as the sum of simple sine waves. So here the important keyword is it is a sum or you can say a linear combination of sine waves. That means any function given in a, any independent variable x or t can be represented as a combination of sinusoids in it. The sinusoid which is completing one time period in short span of time, we consider that as a fundamental time period or a fundamental component and except the fundamental component, whatever left in the waveform in terms of sinusoids are called as harmonics. In other words, Fourier series decomposes any periodic function or a periodic signal into the sum of a set of simple oscillating functions namely sines and cosines. So it's one and the same thing but over here we can represent any periodic function as a sum of set of sines and cosines popularly known as complex exponentials because we know any complex exponential by Euler's identity can be written in terms of sine and cosine. Next, the Fourier series is named in the honor of Jean Baptist Joseph Fourier, who made important contribution to the study of trigonometric series. But after the preliminary investigations by Leonard Euler, Jean Lee Ron Dielenbaum and Daniel Bernoulli. These three scientists, along with a Fourier, has made an immensely important contribution in the trigonometric series, now popularly known as Fourier series, by virtue of which any periodic function can be written or represented as a linear combination of sinusoids. There are two forms to represent these functions. First is a trigonometric form of Fourier series. So in trigonometric form of Fourier series, we have a function f of t where t is an independent variable we have considered is defined in a time interval minus t by 2 to t by 2. So basically what we have to remember, what is the time period of the waveform? So I can say now this is a function f of t with a time period t and it is defined in this interval then it can be represented by a Fourier series as follows f of t is a0 plus summation n starts from 1 to infinity in bracket a n is a constant cos n omega 0 t plus p n sin n omega 0 t whereas this omega 0 is nothing but fundamental frequency given by 2 pi by t0 where t0 is a fundamental time period. So any function periodic with a time period t can be represented as a sum of sines and cosines along with this a0. What is this a0? This a0 is nothing but a constant. This is not associated with any sinusoids or cosine. Hence, we call this as a DC term present in a Fourier series. So once again, f of t is a0 plus summation n equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n omega 0 t plus b n sin n omega 0 t. You need to calculate a0 a n and b n because these are the coefficients and those coefficients are calculated as follows a0 is 1 upon time period and if here is the limit in which the function exists f of t dt and that integral will give you a0 then we have a n where what exactly we have done half of the time period because in a complete time period both the functions are existing hence 
to get a an i will cut short the time period to one half so one upon t by two in the end it is two upon t same limit because f of t exists between this interval into cos n omega zero t dt so we have to solve this integral to get a n then bn is 2 by t integral minus t by 2 to t by 2 f of t sin n omega 0 t dt. So these three integrals will give you the coefficients a0, an and bn. And once those coefficients are obtained, you have to just substitute in the formula so that in the end we will get f of t with some constant and sinusoids and cosine terms present and that depend upon value of n so this in the end will have the series of cos omega 0 sin omega 0 cos 2 omega 0 sin 2 omega 0 likewise whereas the first term n equal to 1 if i substitute whatever i will get that is a fundamental component later on for n greater than 1 whatever components will be obtaining are called as harmonics so this is a trigonometric form of a Fourier series. One more form is there that is a complex form. It is related to a trigonometric only. So complex form is like this. A function f of t of a period t, that means it's a periodic function. It has a complex Fourier series of this manner. Where f of t is given as summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity cn is a coefficient multiplied by e raised to j n omega 0 t where cn equals 1 upon time period f of t and since the time period I mentioned over is t so we are assuming that the f of t exists from minus t by 2 to t by 2 so that cn will have a formula 1 upon time period t integral of minus t by 2 to t by 2 f of t into e raised to minus j n omega 0 t. So basically what we have done in a trigonometric form of series, we use a Euler's identity like this. Cos theta is e raised to j theta plus e raised to minus j theta divided by 2 and sin theta is nothing but e raised to j theta minus e raised to minus j theta divided by 2 j. So it is just a simple substitution by Euler's theorem. will convert a trigonometric form of series into complex form of series. So in this video, we have seen some basic concepts related to the Fourier series, which says any periodic function can be decomposed such a way that we will get only sinusoidal terms out of it. And once we obtain that for n equal to one, which we call as a fundamental component for n, different than that of equal to one whatever components will be obtained are called as harmonics and we have seen any Fourier series repeat any function can be represented in two types of Fourier series these two types are related to each other namely trigonometric series where sine and cos are present directly and second is a complex form of series by using a Euler's theorem we can convert trigonometric series into complex or complex into trigonometric series. Thank you.